So today I'm doing my updated foundation routine and if you guys watched my last haul which was the um, my last haul of the year, duh, my last haul of the year, I talked about my new foundation that I picked up at the Chanel counter and I decided to show you guys, I've been using it for four days now, so I decided to film an updated foundation routine because I love trying new foundations and I always switch it up. So this time, since I'm already running out of my drugstore foundations, I decided to try this one out and I've heard so many good things about it and I love love it. It's like I am completely sold. Um, as far as my other foundation, like I used to say my MAC Pro Longwear was my favorite foundation and it still is for super full coverage. But the Chanel one, it's not full coverage. Um, but it makes it look like it is. The thing about this one is that it lets your natural skin like breathe through your through the makeup so it doesn't look like you're wearing any foundation at all but yet it still covers everything that it needs to cover it doesn't cover um, under eye circles or blemishes obviously because it like I said it's not full coverage but it is a long-lasting soft matte liquid foundation I just want to quickly say because I know I'm gonna get so many comments about this but this is just my updated foundation routine. I'm using e.l.f. products to set my makeup. I'm using Sonia Kashuk from Target. I'm using so many different brands. This is just the foundation alone. This doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy it. It doesn't mean that like all of my videos are going to be like super high-end because they're not. Because all of the tutorials that I do, they're always mixed and usually like 90% of the time they're like super low-end drugstore tutorials. So um, yeah, hopefully I don't get any more like comments like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're just doing expensive of makeup because if I use a MAC product I'm like I get all of these comments about how you guys hated that I use MAC products so this is just a tutorial to kind of show you how it works for my skin so anyways enjoy the tutorial and I will talk to you guys later bye so I put on my face my Studio Secrets anti redness primer and this is gonna help correct all the redness usually around my cheek area and I'm taking this flat top kabuki brush by Sigma and what I do is just take some on my fingertips after you shake it so after that I'm just taking my flat top kabuki brush and I'm just gonna spread this all over my face I love that you can actually see my skin peeking through the foundation and you can't even tell I'm wearing any foundation it just looks like you have really really good skin like it's nice and even and that I really appreciate from a foundation and I'm not sure but I think the philosophy for Chanel um, as far as foundation goes is that they don't believe in full coverage because they want your skin to show through it they don't want your makeup to look like you're wearing a lot a lot of makeup they want it to look really nice and natural and I'm just gonna take my Sonia Kashuk hidden agenda um, concealer palette and I'm just gonna take some and highlight or conceal my dark circles that were so obvious at the beginning of this video like all that redness around my eye redness and purple so <laughs> I'm actually gonna conceal this um, this scar or scab because my son loves like when he gets really happy he goes crazy he starts scratching my face he gets so excited he moves his hands really fast and he scratched me last night okay so there we have um, my face so next I'm just gonna set my face and this is the elf mineral blemish powder I really like this one and this is the one that I've been currently using for the past week so I am going to take um, this is my extravaganza large powder brush and I like to take some just like on the corner like this and just go into the lid and then swirl it so you get it all over the bristles. Okay, and then pat it. And then I just set my concealer and all my makeup. I'm just going to move on to Madly by uh, NARS, and it's just a really pretty blush. I'm just taking a powder um, blush brush by Sigma and I'm just gonna place that right like blush obviously but it's really it's a really pretty color because it works as bronzer as well 
as you can probably already tell. And this defines my face or my cheeks a little more because I kind of have like a oval kind of round face. So I really have to put this so it kind of looks a little slimmer. And I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I'm just going to take quickly what I use every single day. It's my Anastasia Brow Kit. I'm going to take it from here and I use the lightest one which still comes out pretty dark. So I'm just going to take it with the same brush and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows so you can see the difference. And you know what? Before, I didn't even fill in my eyebrows. Like I started to fill them in because I wanted to fill them in. Um, and now like I have to fill them in every single day because if not I look weird or I feel like I look weird because I also stopped using eyeliner at the bottom mess because uh, I used to use it every day and when I stopped I felt like I looked a little weird but I guess you just have to get used to it see you can tell this eyebrow is like more you can tell it's there. This one's kind of like blended in the background. And then I'm going to take um, a highlighting pen. This is just by Barry M. And I bought it while I was in London. Um, I think I got it at Boots or some other drugstore they have over there. But I'm just going to use this pink one. And I'm just going to take this pink one and just place that right underneath my eyebrow as a highlight. And I also take it in my inner tear ducts just so I can get some light there so they can look a little brighter. And I just take my finger and I blend it out. So next I'm taking this wax by NYX and this I just put it right on top of my eyebrows after I fill them in like this. And so they're not flat because the wax makes them flat. I just go back with the spool end of my brush and then just comb it out. So next I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I'm not going to do, I usually like just deepen up the crease a little bit, but today I'm just going to go directly into liquid liner because my eyes are looking funny. So I'm just going to take my L'Oreal Linear Intense and I'm just going to line them and then I'll be back. So next I'm taking my favorite mascara. This is the They're Real by Benefit. I love it so much that I think this is like my number one favorite mascara right now. And I used to love like drugstore, like their cover girl and stuff, like my number one favorite. But this is seriously like my favorite one right now because it really expands them and it makes them look like you're wearing false lashes. It curls them. I mean, this is awesome. I love it. I'm going to add lots of mascara to the bottom lashes as well because since I don't use any eyeliner at the bottom, I like them to be really thick so my eyes um, look even bigger. And it almost looks like you're wearing eyeliner at the bottom when you have lots of mascara. But this one I also like because it doesn't make them look spidery. It just makes them look like you have really nice thick lashes. They're like you're able to see the man. It's so amazing how it curls curls your lashes. Okay, so there I have those and you know what? I am not even going to add false lashes because I really like this mascara just like the way it is. So the last thing I guess I do is my lips and I just use some kind of lip balm, either this one by uh, Burt's Beast and this is a raspberry lip gloss or I have my Neutrogena uh, Norwegian Lip Moisturizer. And I guess I'll put that on. I'm just going to add my uh, lipstick. This is a MAC lipstick in uh, Surprise Me. And it's just pretty much kind of like a reddish orange tint, not red, orange, coral. <gasps> kind of like my shirt. It is. Nice. And the last thing I'm going to do is add my favorite lip gloss. This is uh, by NYX. It's in tan, and it's a really creamy lip gloss. Alright, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing on a daily basis. 
this is my updated foundation routine and hopefully you guys uh, found it a little bit interesting if you guys have any more questions as to any of the stuff that I used um, shoot me an email or oh, not an email but um, I have a Facebook Twitter and dulcekenny.com if you guys are interested on fashion and outfits of the day and street style by me so yeah thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye